Hey, winners, listen, we are all about discipling one another to reach and raise the next generation, to live out God's truth. Truth, that's yeah. right. And I am so sorry that Andrew and I haven't given you a lovely video in the last couple of weeks with spring break and things going on. But we just want to have some coffee talk with you today and tell you some things that um, are exciting in our group's ministry, some things we're excited about. Um, the number one uh, thing happening is that we've had two brand new groups start this last Sunday, both launched very successfully. We had about 36 new people in groups because of these two groups. Uh, both of them were young families groups. And so we just want to take a minute to give you a challenge and to tell you some pointers we've learned over the last year about launching a new group. Here's the challenge. Andrew, tell them the challenge. One year, one new group. The challenge that we have for 2018 is that every single one of our groups, we want you to have a heart and a mission and a passion to launch out a new group this year. Yep, just like the goal of, uh, of our mission is to reach new people and multiply, the goal of our groups is the same. Just healthy groups multiply. And so the goal is one year. So let me tell you how we've done this in the last year. Um, I was in a class, at, uh, I was in a group at the 930 hour, and we saw a need that we really needed to start new young families groups because there were so many kids and not a lot of young families meeting. So as our 930 group grew, there was no space to start a new group. So we said, well, what are we going to do? Um, we didn't have anything at 8 o'clock, so we said, let's do something crazy and try a young families class at 8. I don't know that we've ever done it before. It would probably flop, but, um, but we tried it. And so about a year ago, we launched this group, and it has been wildly um, successful. Um, we've had a great group. We've averaged about 25 in that group throughout the year. And so we actually launched this 930 class, this 930 group last Sunday, out of our 8 o'clock group. And so that was so exciting. Andrew and another teacher from our eight o'clock group is, uh, is teaching this new 930 group. So tell them a little bit about how we did that. Well, the key thing was, was that uh, we established this group not centered around one person or one personality. The key thing was, was that we wanted a, a healthy rotation with all the leaders that, that we had identified within this group. It was uh, the other individual, it was myself, and then it was Rick. Uh, and we were pretty effective on uh, rotating in and out of, of the teaching assignments and the opportunities to lead the class. So we really started with, with that initially. Then um, as we grew closer to the time to where we wanted to, talk, to start to launch out, we started talking about it. We started getting the passion and starting to build up the buzz around it. Uh, and we told our, our group members, hey, listen, we, we want some of you to prayerfully consider going to this new hour. Yes, it's going to change up your schedule, your Sunday morning schedule, uh, but we really want this class to, to be effective. We want it to launch out perfectly and, and great. And so what we did was we started building the buzz around that group to launch out and to go to this new hour. Um, then we started maybe taking a, 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 a poll within the class to say, uh, who would like to go? Uh, is there anybody that would go? And what we did is we sent out our best and our brightest people to go and to launch this new group. Um, and on our first week, we had 24. 24 people 24 on week one. Week one. That's so now, exciting. We also had you know maybe about six or eight that went from the group. Uh, that were uh, members, including the, the four people that were the leaders. Um, we went out and, and we sent those out. But we also, uh, we started with the core group, but then we started reaching out to a lot of prospects as well. Uh, and we had a bunch of new people that are not currently plugged into a group that went and started this new group with us. Yeah, and I think that's the key. When you talk about how do we start a new group? Okay, well, first of all, you need a very effective leader. You need somebody that's motivated. And then you need a core group to send out of your current group that's going to go and going to be movers and shakers and going to reach new people. That's what um, Andrew was talking about. The 930 group did. They had two teachers launch out. Hit Andrew and a guy named Matt Johnson, who's a very effective teacher. And then they had three other couples that came from our 8 o'clock group. So they had about 10 that was a core group to start with. And then the other 14 that showed up were actually uh, new people that kind of weren't really plugged in. So it was very exciting. And so I guess you're wondering, well, what happened to your 8 o'clock group? Is it, did, was it terrible? No, because we had two more new teachers that we've been raising up, we've been watching, that have been, um, that have been consistent, that have been effective, and now those two guys are in a rotation where I'm more of a facilitator than I am the main teacher in the class. And so what that does when you have a teaching rotation, you don't tell everybody who's teaching what week, the class builds around community and around the word instead of around the personality of a teacher. And so for us, that means we've got to take some of our ego out of that and it not be about, oh, we're going to Andrew's class or Rick's class. But it's about a community where we are uh, we're challenging one another in our faith. We're growing closer together. And so we want to give you this one-year challenge. Could you, you need to say it to your class often that, hey, class, 
Could we, could we, in our group, could we launch a new group in a year? And the only way you're going to do that is if you're missionally focused on reaching new people. If you just love each other so well, when new people come in, they don't feel like they fit, you will never start a new group and you'll never see the church continue to grow. But if you have that missional mindset, I believe that all of you are good enough leaders that in a year, you can start a new group. You can start a new group. So question as we leave, who are you raising up to be that next leader? Because the group is going to rise and fall on the leadership. And so if you have a good leader, you say, hey, boy, I got this, this, this young leader. They're new to the church, but they're a good, gifted teacher. Start giving them opportunities to fill in for you every once in a while. Give them real responsibility. People want real responsibility. And lots of times when we give them responsibility, they'll step up and they'll, uh, they'll fill in that gap in a way that's amazing. Hey, we love you guys. Thank you so much for all you're doing. We are so proud to, uh, to serve on staff here. And if there's any way we can help you, you can email us now at groups at, groups at Christplace.com. Hey, we love you. Can't wait to see you Sunday. There we go.